Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 46 says, which of the following when added to 4a squared plus 9 will result in a perfect square for all integer values of x? So we want to think about what a perfect square looks like um, as a quadratic. So typically when you've got a perfect square, what it's really saying is that we can write this perfect square quadratic like this, where basically it's something squared. Right? And if I were to square this, and this is just sort of the generic x plus y squared template, I would get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Okay, the reason why I'm even breaking this up is because what we're looking for in this problem is the middle term, the linear term, um, that we need to add to this. So in other words, what we've got so far is we've got this 4a squared plus something, okay, um, I'm just going to put that there for now, plus 9, okay. So if we look back at just sort of this generic squaring that's going on up here and compare it to what we have down here, what we can see is that the, the way to write this quadratic as a square is going to have to be something like 2a plus 3 squared. So um, the reason why I know it's got to be written like this is because the square root of this first term is going to be 2a, right? Because if we break this down a little further, 2a plus 3 times 2a plus 3. That's what it means when you square something. 2a times 2a is going to be 4a squared. And to get the last term, you'd have 3 times 3 equals 9. And these have to be the same, okay, when we're trying to factor this, because we are trying to make this a perfect square, <clears throat> meaning we want both factors to be the same. So the question is, what should go in the middle here? Well, once we break this down, we can just multiply this out. We already know that 2a times 2a is going to be the 4a squared, and we know 3 times 3 equals 9. So if we multiply the other two combinations here, like uh, 2a times 3, that would give you 6a. And 3 times 2a, that's going to also give you 6a. So our middle term should be 6a plus 6a, which is 12a. So if we fit in, if we plug 12a in here, you will get the perfect square trinomial. So again, 4a squared plus 12a plus 9 is going to be that 2a plus 3 squared. So we've written it as a perfect squared trinomial, and so our answer here has got to be e. Another way to think about this, if you just kind of want a shortcut here, and you know, here I wouldn't even really recommend a shortcut because the question would have to be worded exactly the same way. But basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the square root of each of these two terms and then multiplying them together and then doubling it. Again, that, you know, that's, that's basically what I did to find that. Um, but here I think you just really have to think your way through the problem. So that's it for number 46. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day.